In this brief video, we'll discuss some of the features and benefits of the Facility Manager application, which is part of the FM Desktop Suite. What you'll notice is that Facility Manager is comprised of a number of different components. On the main screen, or the Today screen, we have navigation on the left-hand side that is kept in groups. Each of these groups makes it easier for us to find the information that we're looking for. In the center of the screen, we have our work requests, projects, and status of some of the basic information in our system. If we wish, we can also customize the front end to have a completely different look and feel where we can navigate in a graphical manner rather than from tabular data. In both instances, we can get to record information which comes up in a form, and our forms usually have three different types of data. The pink form items are calculated values. The light blue values are those that must be entered for a record to be generated. And the white values are completely optional. We'll take a look at a few of the features, starting first with the drawings component. If we switch over to the drawing screen, we're still in Facility Manager. But this piece of the application is going to allow us to look for information in a graphical manner. We're going to go ahead and pull up an entire drawing, although I could search for equipment, occupants, or spaces. I'll find an individual drawing that I wish to work with and click the Find Now button. What I've got on my screen now is a graphical representation, but we're not inside AutoCAD. I can still pan and zoom, but I can also select a space and now I start getting some of the details about that space shown below. If I make a modification to a description, and let's say I want to call this uh, specialty office instead, what you'll notice is that my textual items are automatically updated. So the system is tied to a graphical database I have the graphics on my screen and I have a back-end database. In the FM Desktop Application Suite you can have either Access, SQL, or Oracle as the back-end system. We'll just do a couple of other quick things in here. Let's say we're looking at this drawing and maybe we've got a large drawing we want to find some information. We can query that drawing and search for a number of different fields. So all sorts of different items that we can search for in our list. Let's say we're going to choose something in here and for the sake of argument maybe we we'll want to find all conference rooms. Well I can either do a query like this and say either conference room A or conference room B or and we'll switch this to an OR statement. Conference room C. Or I can come in and say, well, this really isn't giving me what I want. I'm going to do it as one fell swoop so that I don't miss anything. Our operators can be a like operator instead of having to list every single thing. And we're going to use a wild cod wildcard character and we'll just choose something like that so anything with the word conference in it. We're going to go ahead and apply a hatch pattern so we can choose a color and a pattern and for the sake of keeping this clean I'll just leave it as a solid and we'll go ahead and run that query so it's going to find any of our conference rooms Let's do the same thing with anything with the word office in it. And we'll change that to a different color. And we're not going to clear the previous hatch because we want that information to stay. So we'll go ahead and run this one as well. So what we've done is essentially we've created a thematic map. 
that information's great. It's good information to see on the screen, but maybe now we need to get it to a report. We can go ahead and click on an ad hoc report. We're going to do this one that shows the spaces and the drawing information. And we're going to create a legend. And we'll go ahead and take a look at our previewed report. What you'll notice is that the report is going to give me all of the basic information, the graphics, and then some details about our spaces below. And what you'll notice is these are multi-paged reports, so they're going to have all the details about all the spaces that you want to see in that particular report. That level of reporting is the lowest common denominator of reporting in the system. So let's go ahead and clear all the hatches. We'll do a couple other things. We've got an occupant in here. We're going to go ahead and move them to a different location. So let's say Jean's been demoted. We're going to move her to this location. I'll go ahead and choose this list. And if I want, I can go ahead and start uh, typing in the information to find that in individual a little bit easier. Go ahead and click OK. It's going to let me know that Jean is already in one or more spaces. Do I want to move her? I can have an individual in multiple spaces. Let's say they've got an office and a lab. In our case, we're going to go ahead and say yes. Let's go ahead and move her. We'll choose the space that we want to move her from and hit OK. Now you'll notice that Jean is in this space and is no longer in this one. Again, that's a real quick example of moving an individual. Let's come back to our main screen and we're going to do a couple more pieces with the reporting because the reporting is really what's important in this system. We can do reports on just about anything. By default there are about 200 pre-canned reports. Lots and lots of different things. But they're listed in groups to make it easier to find the data. Maybe we just want a tabular report with all of the equipment that we have. And you'll notice that was a 22 page report. It's listing the details of the information on the screen for the equipment. If we want to get into a more graphical fashion, maybe we want to see all of the spaces in the system and how they're highlighted based upon their cost centers. So what this report's going to do is go through all of our drawings and create a thematic map for not just one drawing, but for every single one that we have in our system. Our legend is going to show not only the square footage, but also the hatch pattern and a little bit of detail about what that particular cost center is. So that gives you a quick overview of some of the features inside Facility Manager. We'll be doing more videos with more data in the time to come.